So a lot of uh, friends and um, the subscribers of the channel reach out to talk about if there are any books that they can refer. So uh, it's a very common topic. A lot of YouTubers will publish content that these are three books. These are the four uh, uh, books that you should refer. Uh, usually they are sponsored videos. Uh, and my suggestion uh, is by the time a book gets written, by the time it's printed, by the time it's popular and distributed uh, to uh, people who want to learn, and by the time they finish it, the technology is really, really outdated by that time. Things are moving so fast. Every day there are new uh, changes are being made by the uh, cloud providers. So for example, there was a blog yesterday, uh, someone posted, are you using a Bastion host to connect to your private uh, instances? I said, no, we're not using, they said, we, we moved to a session manager. Then somebody said, you know, the session manager is also outdated. You don't need Bastion host, you don't need session manager. And now there are easy to endpoints, uh, new technologies, new stuff being offered by this uh, system. Similarly, when it comes to Terraform, uh, things are changing every day. Uh, you you see their plugin being updated frequently, a lot of features being added. Uh, something like uh, there is a new Ansible provider now which works closely with Terraform. You don't need uh, the uh, the executors and the provisioners that we used to do earlier. So things change so rapidly, so quickly. Uh, so they, they can't be written uh, and can be distributed. Maybe the best possible, best case you can do is have some book on uh, maybe a generic cloud security or something of that sort uh, you can study but it won't be relevant to AWS it won't be relevant to Azure it could be generic concepts uh, maybe a, some sort, sort of architectural book you can study which will give you uh, knowledge on how things should be done in cloud not specific to Azure not specific to AWS those are the kind of one or two books you can find for yourself and you can read them if you are planning to travel for a long period of time or you like to uh, you know read before your sleep or something of that sort so that that can be finished in in few days and again it's going to do what it's going to increase your uh, technical vocabulary uh, so you can talk to your customer you can talk better in the interviews that sort of thing give you a lot of uh, technical words, jargons, and stuff like that, um, and maybe some knowledge as well. But uh, but that's the main objective that when I have to study something, that I should learn about these new concepts and new things that, that are traditionally done in the DevOps and cloud space with that in mind, not to learn anything specific, anything that is right away useful and you can start building something because we, we're not going to look at any coding or any such stuff. It's, it's mainly, mainly the concepts. So some something of networking concepts or architectural components, uh, that that sort of concepts. That's the idea. But other than that, anything for AWS, Azure, GCP, uh, Terraform, Ansible, we don't need any book. We we don't have to uh, look at any such uh, book that we can refer because by the time they reach you, they are already outdated.